Well, hi, I get quite a lot of people asking me about selling stuff online and how to best approach it. And a particular sort of common theme is, you know, I've made a few craft items and I'm having trouble selling them. So let's just take the scenario, made, you know, five, I don't know, pottery mugs or whatever it might be. And you've been trying to sell them on Etsy and you're just getting a bit frustrated, no sales. So got a few little tips that might help if you're in that situation. And I think the first thing is that you've got to show sort of confidence for the market in what you're doing. And one of the ways you can do that is by having a fair number of products for sale. So I'd always sort of recommend if you're going to sell on the likes of Etsy, you try and get probably 15, 20 items in your shop. And it just sort of helps really. Try and get that first sale, get some feedback, and then you know, you'll get a bit more customer confidence. The other sort of areas worth looking at, and these are sort of fairly common problems if you look at a lot of sites, and that's photography. You don't need a posh camera to take good pictures, but you do need good lighting. And so it's worth really investing in a photo studio or at least getting a good number of good, well-balanced lights. And then you can use your camera phone, if you've got a reasonable one, and take some really nice product photos but it is worth putting a bit of effort into that. There are other things you can do as well. And um, a common sort of thing I see is people don't give much description. So you're left wondering, you know, what sort of clay the cups are made out of? Where's the clay come from? The more sort of information and story you can provide, the more interesting the item becomes. And really very closely matched to that is a little bit about yourself. When people sort of email me say, oh, I'm having difficulty selling, I then go to look at their shop, there's very often very little story about the individual and why it's their passion to sell. And I think that's quite important because if you're buying something, you're often very much sort of happier, if you like, to pay that little bit more if you actually sort of buy in through the person's philosophy. So perhaps it's recycling or something like that, or it's protecting the environment. If you can get those sorts of messages over that what fires your own interest and passion, then I think you're far more likely to get a sale. Now, you can do that with more photographs about your work process and how you make it, and a bit of narrative description. You can also obviously upload films to YouTube. <laughs> but I think if people understand the products that you're making, and also your philosophy behind them, it makes it a more interesting product. I know when I buy things, if I know a bit about the maker and a little bit about why they're trying to do what they're doing, it makes it a more interesting purchase. And I think you get a bit more sort of interest and loyalty into it. So I guess really there are a few little tips. So, you know, make sure the photos are good, make sure the descriptions are good get a bit of backstory about why you're doing it and what's good about your particular product and make sure you've got a fair stock to sell. And I think if you do all of those things as a basic, then you know, you're very likely to get good sales coming your way. But I think if you're not doing those things and you're not getting sales, then obviously that's something to look at. There are probably lots of other things one could say about this and by all means pop some things down in the comments but i thought i'd just give a few steers because i've had the question raised several times now and i thought it might be helpful just to pop up a few little quick thoughts in a film anyway there you are i will now get back to the bodger's ball and it's a lovely setting around here i mean i'm just in a country lane but i've just walked past nice blacksmiths and i'm at the edge of the bodger's ball campsite anyway see you in the next film Bye-bye then.